In this video I'm going to be putting everything together uh, with the mill and with Mach 3 and with the tool offsets and with the macro. Put it all together and actually run the first uh, uh, sample of G-code. Uh, I'm going to walk through the whole process and uh, that's it. All right. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to ref all home. Uh, just click the ref all home button right here. And you can hear the mill is uh, going into its home position. Okay, that's in its home position. Zoom back in here. And we can see if we go to machine coordinates, it's all zeros. Go back to work coordinates. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to insert my tool number one, or the uh, the probe, or what I'm using to uh, set zeros. Put that in. Okay, so I've got the tool in there. Uh, I'm using the uh, Tormach tool system um, electronic edge finder, uh, but you can use other tools, edge finders, um, or other tools. Um, then I'm going to go in over to Mach 3, and where it says tool information, I'm going to click on there and enter one and then hit enter on the keyboard okay and then I'm gonna go back to the mill and I'm going to find zero uh, I'm just gonna go to the center of the wood and the portion that's in the in, in the vise, you know, uh, the the code that I'm running is uh, based off the center. So I'm just gonna find the. This is just uh, some test code. Um, so find the approximate center. Okay. Okay, and then I'm going to go back into, over to Mach 3, and I'm in the uh, work coordinates, uh, I'm then going to select uh, zero for all three axes. Now it's all zero. And now I'm going to load the G-code. Uh, let's see, you go to File, Load, G-code. Um, I've got this on my uh, flash drive, or thumb drive. Uh, removal disk E. I labeled it uh, Test Code. Then I'm going to click open. Okay, so it's now loaded the uh, the code. Okay. Now I'm going to remove the tool. I'll raise this up high enough to get it out. And go back to G 
Mark three. Now I'm going to select cycle start. Uh, the mill has now gone up into tool change position. And you can see on the screen, it is now saying, please insert tool number five, five sixteenths high strength, uh, high speed steel TIN drill. So I'm going to take that one, which is uh, this one right here. Go back over to the mill. Okay, I'm going to insert this tool. Tighten that up. Pull out the pin. Put on my eye protection. I'm going to turn it on, of course. Uh, I'll wait until the. Uh, it's going to be a little noisy, so let me uh, finish the rest here. Um, Okay, so I've now installed the tool. Please insert tool number five. Okay, tool number five is in. I'm going to click OK. It is now gone just above the work surface. ready to start the code I'm now going to turn it on the spindle on You can see in the code where it's at, T5M6. That's the tool change right there. It's waiting for me to click cycle start, and it's going to go on to the rest of the code. So I'm going to click cycle start right here. Um, but I'll uh, I'll point this at the um, the mill so you can see what it does. It's now doing a. Uh, Tech drill operation. This code is actually wrote, written for steel, so it's going a little slow. It's going to drill one hole and then another hole an inch away. I'm going to turn the spindle off uh, so you can hear me for one thing, but uh, it's now stopped and it's asking for the next tool. Um, I don't have, I'm doing the, the, uh, the spindle manually until I can get the, 
uh, a circuit board that I can integrate it but uh, as you can see over here it is now asking for tool number four which is quarter inch high speed steel TIN okay so now I'm going to that's off. I'm going to turn this off. And I'm going to change the tool. Put uh, tool number four, which is a quarter inch. Put that in. Tighten that down, pull the pin out. Okay. Now turn the spindle back on. And click OK. Now it's going into the uh, start position. Now I'm going to click a uh, cycle start. Turn the spindle off. Turn that off. As you can see, it uh, drilled a series two holes at one tool size and then four holes in a different tool size. All right. And if you look on the on here, it's going back to the top ready to uh run it again. All right, that's the uh the sequence of uh of running the code with the uh, the tool macro and with the tool offsets and uh, that's it, alright?